Hey there! In a previous video, I tested this Sony 10 to 20 mm f4 lens on my full frame Sony ZV-E1. It has amazing performance as a vlogging lens, but it is an APS-C lens after all. So in this video, we will take a look at how it performs on the Sony ZV-E10. We'll be looking at its features, image quality, and overall usability. The Sony 10 to 20 mm f4 G lens is an ultra wide angle zoom lens designed for APS-C sensor cameras. It offers a focal range equivalent to 15 to 30 mm in full frame terms, making it an ideal choice for capturing expensive landscapes, architecture, and creative compositions with exaggerated perspectives. It weighs only 178 grams, a great choice for travel and outdoor shooting. There is a customizable button and a switch for autofocus and manual focus. It also has a power zoom button, which allows you to zoom in or zoom out smoothly when you are taking a video. We will be discussing more about this feature later on. Even though this is an ultra wide angle lens, it shows minimal distortion, even at the widest focal length, ensuring straight lines and accurate proportions in architectural shots. The minimum focus distance is very very short, so you can get super close up shots, and if you zoom in to 20mm, you can even get some beautiful background separation. Chromatic aberration is well controlled, and the lens produces sharp and detailed images across the frame. The f4 constant aperture ensures consistent performance throughout the rim range, but I do feel the lack of light when I am shooting at darker environment, so I would avoid using this lens in low light situations. But the good thing is that I normally use this lens to shoot landscapes and cityscapes, so most of the time it would be during bright daytime, and I would be using something between f5.6 to f8. I'm pretty satisfied with the performance of this lens on the Sony ZV-E10. The wide-angle perspective adds a cinematic touch to the shots, making it ideal for vlogging, storytelling, and capturing immersive bureau footage. The smooth and quiet autofocus, as well as the power zoom function, make it easier for capturing exciting moments. Keep in mind that neither this lens nor the ZV-E10 have stabilization, but since this is an ultra-wide-angle lens, stabilization isn't much of an issue. But if you want a more narrow framing, you can use the active steady shot on the VE10 to crop in about 40%, and the footage will look a lot more steady. But if you want to keep it as wide as possible, you can turn off the steady shot on the camera and use Catalyst Browse to stabilize the footage in post production. This way, you can decide how much you want to crop in manually. The power zoom feature undoubtedly makes this lens more ideal for video shooting. You can control how fast or how slow you want to zoom in or zoom out. And during the entire process of zooming in or out, the focus is very smooth and looks natural. And if you look at the lens body, you can see that when I zoom in and zoom out, it is internal zoom, so the size won't change. This will be very helpful if you are putting the camera on a gimbal. The Sony 10 to 20 mm f4 is designed with ease of use in mind. The focal length range offers versatility. Personally, I think wide angle lenses could be a little bit challenging in terms of composition. I used to have a Sigma 60 mm f1.4 lens. It has amazing optical performance in every aspect, but I ended up selling it because I thought it's too wide. But with this 10 to 20 lens from Sony, I find 
that the slightly narrower field of view strikes a better balance for my needs. The lens is suitable for a wide range of shooting scenarios, from travel photography to environmental portrait and to even street photography. I think this lens strikes a great balance between versatility, ease of use, and optical performance. While wide-angle lenses can indeed present composition challenges, this lens offers a slightly narrower perspective that's more manageable for my shooting style. Its build quality, image quality, and autofocus capabilities make it a valuable tool in my kit, so I can capture a wide array of scenes with confidence. So if you are like me, you feel the need to use a wide-angle lens once in a while, but also find wide-angle composition difficult, I believe this lens can give you the most flexibility. Leave a comment to let me know how you think about taking photos or videos with a wide-angle lens, and which is your favorite wide-angle lens. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.